purport. The asuras are described here as mudadhya, meaning that they are captivated by ignorance, just like the ass. The demons are captivated by the false, glaring beauty of this material form, and thus they embraced her. The sense the bhakti vedanta purport. So the <coughs> asuras were completely floored by the beautiful woman and after that they simply seized her seized her and grabbed her they embraced her so prabhupada is explaining here that the asuras are described as mudadhya meaning they are captivated by ignorance so only those who are captivated by the mode of ignorance and passion will subject themselves to this force of false attraction illusory attraction in this material world and they are considered to be mudadhya means not very intelligent or they are foolish one who knows things as they are then one would not run after the illusory things in this material world in other words if you really want to buy gold then you have to unless you get real gold you are cheated something will be gold like plated gold it will look like gold for the senses it will look like gold there's no difference between the rolled gold and the plated gold and real gold there's no difference for the senses but for the value there'll be difference one has no value the other has got very high value comparatively and one has no value so one gives experience of gold the other one is real gold and real gold also gives experience of gold but it has also got the value of gold that is the difference one is experientially true other one is experientially true and existentially true in existence also it is real gold so any sense perception anything that we see if it is only true experientially it is not necessary that it is truth truth has to be established independently of experience for instance you watch a movie a movie once you go into the movie world it's a real experience it is a real experience the experience is as real as real life experience no difference but is that true existentially true no experientially true but existentially false now if you want to analyze you want to whether that movie is existentially true or experientially i am experientially i am seeing it is true now i want to find out whether it is existentially true so you analyze the movie more and more the movie plot you go into the movie plot 
okay in the movie plot this character that character you go on analyzing will you ever come out of the movie no in other words to ex- establish the existential truth of something any amount of experiences with the senses will not determine that truth one has to go beyond the senses and go to the intelligence and intelligence the source of that intelligence should be independent of that movie and that is the third source it is not coming from the movie and that is spiritual knowledge guru sadhu and shastra the spiritual knowledge even though it is available in ordinary material paper material ink it is available here but that is not real spiritual knowledge it is manifesting like this like any other ordinary book but the vibration the sound that is generated the sound that it represents this this transcendental knowledge that is the independent source independent of our sensual perceptions our sensual perceptions can make mistakes commit tendency for illusion cheating all these things so there is no question of establishing whether something is illusion or whether something is true by your senses you cannot this is the only way to establish whether an experience is existentially true or not is by a third source that is shastra so the asuras mudadhya means foolish they go only by experience mode of passion right now yes this experience is real so it must be real it must be real that is enough for them but for somebody who is having that weakness suppose somebody is only experience he only wants experience of gold he goes to a shop full of gold plated items cheating and the person wants oh so nice like gold gold shining oh this is nice shining gold give me that you pay the price of gold and take it the person is influenced by only experience not using the intelligence okay what is the weight of this material what is the volume of this material what is the density of this material oh it cannot be gold it is so light gold is very heavy 19.5 grams per cc this is like you know copper and all these things are only 8 grams 9 grams same volume will weigh less you take something you, by weight itself you will say oh this necklace is not original necklace this only plate why where does he get it it's he is not seeing that he is using intelligence knowledge and intelligence so this is absent in the asuras mind right pleasure means experience means i'll jump over it. whereas a gentleman a human being who is progressive in his life he accepts pleasures which are only not only experiential but it should also have and every experience in this material world every sense experience is illusion then among the illusions again there is filter what is permitted by the shastras just like krishna says i am sex life according to regulative principles so a sura or a devotee 
he falls into the category of authorized sense gratification. That's Kama Bhakta. They're not talking about pure devotees. In Asuras and Suras, you can see. Whereas a pure devotee, he sees that this is all illusion. Authorized or unauthorized, it's all illusion. If I can come out of it, that is the purpose of moving from Asuric thing to Suric thing. That means by becoming an obedient sense enjoyer is better than being an Asura. That is the verdict of the scriptures. But ultimately, those who want to go out of this material world, those who want ultimate truth, absolute truth, they understand that all these things this are created by this body, which is body, mind and intelligence, which is a material yantra. And all experiences are generated out of this yantra. And the soul is only a kshetrajna. Soul is not feeling anything. Soul is feeling the feeling. Soul is not directly feeling anything in this world. When you feel angry with someone, you are not angry. Your kshetra is generating that anger and you are identifying with that anger. It is not direct feeling. It is the feeling of the yantra you are identifying. Thinking of the yantra you are identifying. Impulses of the yantra, your uh, your understand, your misunderstanding to be your decision, your impulses. Prakritay kriyamana ni gunay karma ni sarvasha ahankar iti mam ahankaram karthaham iti manyate. So only by a false ego, one thinks one is doing, one is no, it is my feeling, it is my I am angry, etc., etc. I am having pleasure, all these things. So, but the nature of the soul is to think, feel and will. Body cannot think, feel and will. But at the same time, Maya is so powerful, she creates an illusion of thinking, feeling and willing. Just like the jeweler is so expert that he plates it and makes it appear like gold. Copper will make it appear like gold. So that all the customers will go and buy it, pay the price of gold and buy it. Foolish customers will go, pay the price of gold and buy it. In the same way in this material world, Maya is expert, expert like a jeweler who cheats. She is expert. She, her job is to duplicate the gold of the spiritual world here. Her business is to duplicate beauty here. Just like rolled gold will be only skin deep, isn't it? If you bend that copper like this, suddenly inside you will see copper. So it is little micron thickness. So the truth of that gold is only micron thickness, isn't it? Similarly, the Shastra says that all beauties in this world is only skin deep. The, the, the luster of the skin, etc., is duplicated just like in the spiritual world. The color, the luster, everything. The look, it look like that. But actually that is not Satchidananda, it is skin. Leather, leather. Suppose you are make, 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 able to, you know, create a leather. A Satchidananda leather. To duplicate Satchidananda. That is what it is. All of us are having a body, a mechanism, packed in a leather bag. First something is all set up, just like suppose you make a framework. In steel rod you make a framework, two legs and this and that and chest and ribs and everything. 
and then now you, you some moving items are there okay kidney i'll hang here heart i will fit here put on belt here exactly like that only everything is hanging heart is hanging on liver is hanging then all connections are given ha ah. then pumping system is there blood is given all this can this going on yantra rudhani maya it's a yantra but how many times do we think it is an yantra we don't think just like in the sari shop outside you have mannequins fiberglass model of women and they wear sari they decorate that mannequin with sari those who have desire they see if people don't if people see it as plastic you think anybody anybody will set it up outside the shop if suppose everybody is knowledgeable are earth plastic those who have desire they will see that model wearing the sari they will project their own face there how nice i'll be there and then they will enter the sari shop because this is how it is we create in our mind illusion and that mannequin that fiberglass doll is just a trigger in your mind you are just waiting to see how you will feel in that sari so in the material world varieties of names and forms and qualities and persons and everything is duplicated by maya but the person where is the person person is in the body you don't even see the person the person is traveling in the body but you paste we paste the identity of the person on to the body we ourselves first paste our identity that i am this body and we continue going on life like this like from childhood we are grown slowly we start identifying how each of our limbs are under our control so it's me it is me i cannot control your hand so i don't think that hand is mine i can control my hand so i think oh this is me hand leg so finally you think this body is me and then you in you, you create a bodily concept of life body is different bodily concept is different bodily concept is where it is in the subtle body so actually we are living in bodily concept of life we are not living in the body if you are living in the body then you become immediately conscious oh what is this this is a yantra but you live in the bodily concept of life so krishna consciousness is meant to take us out of this bodily concept of life and come into spiritual concept of life i am spirit soul to start with then i am sachidananda body that one gets a sachidananda body which is duplicated by material energy in this world so by hearing the scriptures that is intelligence one changes his perception because illusion is a perception unless and until we start seeing people differently we will also be in the bodily concept of life a spiritualist a devotee he starts seeing people perception of people is the most important thing for spiritualist one who is interested one who is progressing in spiritual life one who wants to be a vaishnava his perception of people is very important one cannot perceive the others as bodies one should see separate the body and body is simply neutral body has actually no consciousness consciousness is separate body is separate there is no difference between the body and the floor in which you are sitting 
It's just an extension of Panchabhuta, that's all. That much Panchabhuta in your body, which is your body, you have control, that's all. But there's no difference on the floor. Because floor also doesn't talk, body also doesn't talk. Isn't it? Floor also doesn't think, your body also doesn't think. Floor also doesn't feel, your body also doesn't feel. The soul in the body thinks, the soul in the body feels, the soul in the body wills. But because we are in bodily concept of life, my soul's thinking is influenced by this yantra. This is very nicely set up Panchabhuta which duplicates like a person. Because you see, if you want to duplicate gold ornaments by just giving a layer of gold, you have to be very expert. Everything that appears there in the real gold should also appear here. All quality should appear here. So that's why Maya has created this body, so all quality should appear. What is the quality of a soul? Thinking, feeling and willing. So you're, you, you think you are the body and the body is thinking, feeling and willing. I am this body, I am a man, I am a woman. So my moment I say I am a woman, my feeling, my identification, everything is, is colored of being a woman. I am a man. Immediately your consciousness is colored as a man. So the attraction in the material world, if you see the attraction between male and female, that's the subject that is here. The attraction between male and female has no sound basis in the spiritual platform. Why? Because to say that I am a male is first illusion. To say that I am a female is another illusion. So it is founded on illusory self-concept. That means illusory self-concept is called false ego. Self-concept is ego. Illusory self-concept is called false ego. So it is based on false ego. So therefore, you know, you don't have to think that if, if a man feels towards a woman something, he doesn't have to feel. Is my soul feeling? I am a little doubtful. Is it the soul feeling or the body feeling? It must be my soul's feeling. Soul is in love with nothing. All originated from body only. Soul is only a kshetrajna. So soul is knowing that, no, he is feeling that I am feeling to be a woman or a man. So these fine things to come out of this illusion, it is not easy. Not at all easy, but it is very easy if we associate with the holy name. Because it is the source of all knowledge and knowledge means not information. I am not the body information at the intellectual level you can have. Knowledge means perception. You don't see what your eyes sees. You see with the eyes of intelligence. If you look at the with what the eye sees, it looks like gold. Similarly, if you look just at what the eye sees, then okay, because Maya is expert in her job, it looks like Satchidananda body only, male, female, everybody. But I cannot see what my eye sees, I should see what my Shastra tells to see, yes, yes, this is a duplication of this skin deep, all male, female, everybody is skin deep only. Skin, skin deep, false personality. The real personality is a, is sitting inside and is and is haunted by this bodily concept of life. So even a karmi when he is speaking, who is speaking? Soul is speaking. In that sense. Speaking means not sp Soul is experiencing that speaking. But it is speaking in a haunted manner. Suppose you are haunted. How will you speak? You will speak Haunted means at the identity level, replacement has happened. Suddenly you say, okay, now so and so suddenly gets haunted. He is not the same person, you will say. 
somebody else gets into your body and he utilizes the body that is called haunting exactly the same way this false ego this haunting ghost is the problem body is not a problem for spiritualists body is not a problem because body can be used in krishna service this ghost comes into the body enjoys afterwards it goes away where it goes away into the memory then your normal self will come hey why did i indulge in this i should not have are who is talking now what happened earlier who indulged somebody else came inside and indulged ayaram gayaram this you know fly fly by night operators are called ayaram gayaram suddenly they'll come open and business collect all monies and suddenly shop is closed it disappeared with everybody's money so all this sense gratificatory false egos are all like fly by night operators they'll come in the night and then they'll go away afterwards then you wake up from mangalarti you are normal self who is that fellow who came inside come looted and went away so this approach we should take this identification should not be there the to remove to deal with false ego over many many years you should start disassociating with this concept of i am a male i am a female that concept itself that's not i am a person capable of thinking feeling and willing i am not a male person i am not a female person i am a person first you are a person what is the characteristic of a person somebody who can think feel and will then you get color of a male or a female on to the person is it not so pure person means i am thinking feeling willing i am a person who is servant of krishna even in gross gross bodily concept also you can be there but as long as you remember that i am this body is servant of krishna i am this body i am the servant of krishna no problem as long as you just like in, in the spiritual body in the spiritual world also you have a spiritual body so suppose this body that's why 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 do we think we put all the vaishnava tilak all over the body because if we are treating this body like sachidananda body that means like in the sp- spiritual world i have hands i have to use my hands to serve krishna so here i have this body hand is there i have to use for serving krishna so having a body is not a handicap for real vaishnavas whereas the impersonalists and mayavadis this is a big problem for them it's you know no form no fame no no, no no qualities for the body for the person has no qualities no thinking no feeling no willing ultimately i have to eliminate thinking feeling and willing i have to become pure awareness this is for us pure awareness is a foundation then we have got pure senses we have got pure body we have got pure activity pure services in the spiritual world in the vaikuntha love and that is what we learn from shrimad bhagavatam that is bhagavad dharma dharma of personality and each one of us are servant of krishna question जय ग्रंथराज श्रीमद्भागवत की जय जगद्गुशील प्रभुपाद की जय